Lady Michelle uh, Renouf, can I have your comments regarding what uh, Dr. Finkelstein had to say? Yes, um, I, I greatly honor Dr. Finkelstein. In fact, in my, in my uh, film, Jailing Opinions, I very much uh, talk about his, his, uh, the term he uses, turn speak, which I call twist speak, which we can talk about later. But I would say to him, first of all, there will be another opportunity for him to be invited. In fact, I am on that uh, committee of five, and I would be very happy <laughs> for him to come uh, under any terms that he wishes to the next conference. Uh, in fact, I think it's unfortunate that he didn't come. I don't know that it's important who else is going to be there. The concept of worrying about who else is on a platform is a very limited, limiting, silly idea to be with respect. Um, but may I quote uh, the veteran historical revisionist Professor Robert Forrison in answer to some of these questions, because he said in, 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 in 1980, um, in summing up in one sentence the findings produced by the revisionist research, and I quote, the alleged Hitlerite gas chambers and the alleged genocide of the Jews form one and the same historical lie, which has permitted a gigantic political and financial swindle whose main beneficiaries are the the state of Israel and the international Zionism and whose main victims are the German people but not their leaders and the Palestinian people in their entirety. Now I know that Dr. Finkelstein would certainly agree with some of that because he produced the very important book The Holocaust Industry. But I think he's not taking into account the importance of um, well, he certainly did mention that no matter what, the qu however the, qu the conference was run, it would still be criticized. This is a, the most important thing that he did say about that.